Hello, my name is Steve Nicandros. I am Chairman, Chief Executive Officer, and an investor in Frontera Resources Corporation. Today, I would like to share with you an overview of our progress to date, as well as our vision for the future, for this year and in the years ahead. On June 5th, we'll hold our annual general meeting for shareholders in Houston, Texas, where our headquarters is located. And in advance of that, I wanted to provide a bit more detail about our work and where the company is going. As an independent exploration and production company based in Houston, Texas, here in the United States, Frontera continues to advance and grow its value creation initiatives within its greater Black Sea strategy in the countries of Georgia, Moldova, and Ukraine. Building upon our historical technical success in Georgia and adding future value creation potential in Moldova and Ukraine, our company is today uniquely positioned to move forward with a portfolio of assets that we have evolved to a scale commensurate with that found in the holdings of a major international oil and gas company. In the country of Georgia, where the company is focused on work within its 1.3 million acre Block 12 license area that is situated in the underexplored and underdeveloped Upper Kura Basin, important strategic technical success has been achieved from our exploration initiatives to date. Our extensive historical operations and associated investments of approximately $420 million U.S. have identified the existence of materially significant oil and gas resources throughout our Block 12 portfolio. This slide shows the location of our Block 12 license area situated in the Upper Kura Basin that itself is found within a larger geologic province called the Kura South Caspian Megabasin. This megabasin is the home of billions of barrels of oil and gas equivalent that has been discovered over the past century. And we are surrounded by an area that has extensive proven oil and gas resources within very close proximity to our work. Today in Georgia, within our Block 12 license area, Frontera's historic investment has identified significant oil and gas resources for exploration and development from an extensive portfolio of assets within the block. Specifically, independent analysis from Netherlands Sewell and Associates here in the United States has estimated more than 1 billion barrels of oil in place and as much as 12.9 trillion cubic feet of gas in place. This has established the foundation for transformational value creation for our company and today provides us with the exciting objective to significantly drive up our market capitalization as a result of commercializing these identified resources. This slide shows the South Gaheti complex situated within Block 12. It is a giant oil and gas bearing area that contains trillions of cubic feet of gas in place, as well as billions of barrels of oil in place. With an asset such as this, situated within our greater portfolio, we believe that Frontera has the potential to achieve a market capitalization of more than a billion dollars over the next several years. Frontera's near-term focus is to exploit the Eldari formation that is extensively distributed across all of Block 12. Specifically, our focus in the near-term is to work on an area known as the Terabani area, situated in the center of Block 12, where we find the Eldari formation at depths from 800 meters to 2,800 meters. The Terabani area itself covers approximately 80 square kilometers. 
Netherlands Sewell and Associates have estimated 788 million barrels of oil in place and 4.6 trillion cubic feet of gas in place. Crude quality within this area is comparable to North Sea Brent with values of 36 to 41 degrees API. The area itself historically was penetrated by 41 wells from 1962 to 1981 during the Soviet era. However, there was very limited production due to poor drilling and completion practices. After Frontera acquired the area, our investments have resulted in the acquisition, processing, and interpretation of 60 kilometers of 2D seismic and 150 square kilometers of 3D seismic over the area. We've conducted extensive technical field studies throughout this area and drilled a number of wells on our own where we have conducted uh, extensive testing uh, over time. We've also conducted multiple uh, re-entries and frac recompletions uh, on existing wells that were drilled during the Soviet era, and this has provided now the basis for exploitation of the Eldari Formation. This slide shows a seismic cross-section through one of the deepest wells in the Terabani area. It highlights the Eldari A and B formations that are oil-bearing and the Gorejji A through G formations which are gas-bearing. All of these formations are situated directly above the world-class and prolific Maykop source rock that is extensively distributed throughout the Kura Basin. Key to our technical success to date has been the fact that Frontera has been able to implement technological techniques that have been successfully applied in similar settings here in the United States, in particular here in the state of Texas. All of this technology has led to an oil and gas renaissance here in the United States over the last decade. By translating this to our work in a similar onshore setting in the country of Georgia, we're able to see giant oil and gas reserves that have never before been seen. This slide is an example of that using high resolution image logs that allow us to see reservoir formations that have never before been seen. Significant to achieving our corporate value creation objective from our core assets in Georgia, we recently announced that Frontera had achieved an important milestone with the filing of a Notice of Feasibility of Commercial Production. This notice was filed with the Georgian state-owned oil and gas company in accordance with the terms and provisions of our production sharing agreement. The notice is primarily associated with operations targeting the substantial oil-bearing Eldari formation as well as other geologic targets in Block 12. Because our work to date has produced notable results from demonstrated long-term cumulative production rates from key wells, associated analysis has now provided the basis for reservoir performance modeling such that we've been able to conclude that commercial production associated with the extensively distributed Eldari formation is indeed feasible. As we've previously announced, these results and conclusions have been achieved through successful evolution of completion designs advancement of integrated technical analysis of associated reservoir performance, and related geologic, geophysical, and petrophysical studies. The next few slides show examples of some of these key wells. This slide shows results from fracking the Dino No. 2 well. On the left-hand side of the slide, we see approximately 500 feet of gross pay in the Dino 2 well within the Eldari Formation. In 2008, Frontera Resources executed a frac stimulation in this well. It was a relatively small frac, and from the highlighted section of about 40 feet, 
the well has produced approximately 72,000 barrels of oil. Our modeling tells us that the well from this section should have an estimated ultimate recovery of approximately 160,000 barrels. The zone itself of 40 feet accounts for only about 9.3 percent of the observable gross pay in this extensive section. Core analysis has indicated the existence of additional pay with permeability and porosity values that exceed that which was fracked in this well. Logs have also confirmed the existence of these gross pay sections. This slide shows results from the T45 well also situated within the Terabani area. Like the Dino No. 2 well, this well was fracked in 2008 and has proven to us long-term viability of production from frack completions. In this case, a small frack was applied and we have seen results that have allowed us to estimate an EUR from a 40-foot section of about 200,000 barrels. This section accounts for only about 9.7 percent of the observable gross pay in this well. Core analysis has indicated the existence of additional gross pay sections with permeability and porosity values exceeding 2 millimeters and 15 percent respectively. Logs have also confirmed the existence of these gross pay sections. Another key well within the Terabani area is the Nico No. 1 well. In March 2016, Frontera executed a stimulation in the Nico No. 1 well. The stimulation goal was to reduce the influence of near wellbore damage on production. The job included only 20,000 pounds of propent, representing 13% of future planned stimulation propent volumes, and 750 barrels of crude oil. Swabbing operations were required to achieve production before the frac stimulation. After stimulation, the stimulated section of interest, highlighted to the left, has been flowing naturally. From the highlighted section, the well has produced 12,200 barrels of oil with an EUR of approximately 235,000 barrels based on this historical production data. The stimulated section accounts for only 10 percent of the observable gross pay here. Core analysis has indicated the existence of additional gross pay sections with permeability and porosity exceeding 5 millidarcies and percent respectively. Logs have also confirmed the existence of these gross pay sections. Historical results such as those shown on the previous few slides have now allowed us to understand how to make future wells more efficient and therefore more commercially viable. This slide shows design anticipated for future development wells. The design is intended to take the results that we have achieved from fracking individual sections within the Eldari Formation and stack them in a manner that allows us to commingle multiple horizons at once, therefore maximizing production from this extensive Eldari formation in each individual well. Planned relations in the future will include at least 150,000 pounds of propent and 1,200 barrels of crosslink fluid. Based on our actual historical results, future development wells will achieve estimated ultimate recoveries of more than a million barrels per well. While the Eldari A formation is our near-term objective for exploitation, the Eldari B formation also contains significant potential. When Frontera originally designed the Nico No. 1 well, it was designed to provide the maximum amount of information possible regarding potential reserves in the Terabani area within the Eldari A and B sections. The well successfully penetrated multiple stacked hydrocarbon saturated sections. In the Eldari B section, the well produced about 10,000 barrels of 41 degree API oil 
and 20 million cubic feet of gas in a 40-day test. Going forward, the Eldari B section represents an addition to future stack and frack completions together with the Eldari A section exploitation. Overall, 21 wells have historically penetrated the Eldari B section. This slide shows testing operations at the NICO No. 1 well when it was originally drilled years ago. It was a very successful test, and since that time, with all of the new data and technical analysis that we have conducted, we now understand much better the potential of the Eldari B formation and how to exploit it. With the Eldari A and B formations focused on oil exploitation with associated gas, this slide focuses on the Gareggi Formation, a gas-bearing formation situated from 3,000 meters and below. Here we see, in this seismic cross-section through one of the deeper wells in the Terabani area, the Gareggi Formation zones A through G sit just above the Macopian source rock. Within the Gareggi Formation, our extensive historical work has identified significant gas resources associated with these marine sands. Within the Terabani area associated with the Gareggi Formation, Historical drilling in this section encountered significant high-pressure gas shows that were overlooked at the time. Our more current 3D geophysical survey and associated special processing has noted bright spots related to the gas, thereby confirming the presence of gas in this area. An example of this bright spot uh, identification is shown here on the right in Zone E. Looking ahead, based on our historical work to date, our objectives are to undertake the first stage of exploitation of approximately 800 million barrels of oil in place and 4.6 trillion cubic feet of gas in place at the Terabani area. Our internal modeling tells us that the initial phase of exploitation related to oil production associated with the Aldari A formation is projected to generate an approximate 10-year revenue of $4.2 billion at current Brent forward curve pricing. The initial phase of exploitation related to gas production is projected to generate an approximate 10-year revenue of $9 billion at a price of about $6.50 per MCF. It's these numbers that give us the excitement that the potential is there to transform Frontera into a billion dollar plus market cap company over time. And it's for this reason that we have focused very hard year on year on establishing the basis for this work. As a result of our important progression, we're focused on undertaking a work program that will seek to establish commercial exploitation of the Eldari Formation and other related geologic targets that I've described so far. In order to achieve this in an efficient and expedient manner due to the large-scale oil and gas resources that we have successfully identified to date with our historical investments, we're seeking a strategic partner to assist in accelerating our planned work programs. Accordingly, we're currently progressing discussions with several potential industry partners regarding a possible transaction involving a farm out or joint operation agreement within our areas of focus. In conjunction with this, 
The company has designed a work program for the next 12 months that includes the planned drilling and advanced stack stimulation completion of two new Aldori formation wells, as well as continued geological, geophysical, and petrophysical and engineering study work. The combination of introducing a strategic industry partner to our work and accelerating focused exploitation of the Aldari Formation is expected to provide us with the basis for achieving profitability and value creation for all of our shareholders from this significant portfolio. Now let's turn to our new ventures to the west across the Black Sea in the countries of Moldova and Ukraine. In Moldova and Ukraine, we are focused on advancing exploration initiatives associated with the underexplored and underdeveloped Dobruja Basin that is situated in southern Moldova and southwestern Ukraine. We believe this basin contains oil and gas potential of similar magnitude to that which we have identified in our Kura Basin Initiative in Georgia. As previously announced, we recently signed a new 3 million acre onshore concession agreement with the government of Moldova earlier this year that will now provide the basis for undertaking exploration work throughout this portion of the Dobruja Basin. Efforts are currently underway to acquire a similar position in Ukraine's portion of the basin. Our plans in Moldova for the next 12 months include commencing exploration efforts that will primarily consist of geologic field work, evaluation of existing wells, as well as associated detailed construction of an extensive geologic, geophysical, petrophysical, and engineering database that will permit the company to commence the process of integrated analysis to identify oil and gas resource potential. In Ukraine, across the border, we will continue efforts to acquire an acreage position in this country's portion of the Dobruja Basin, as well as conduct continued pre-acquisition technical studies. This slide shows our newly awarded concession area in Moldova, as well as photographs from earlier this year when we signed our concession agreement. The photographs show me, together with Prime Minister Philippe, as well as Frontera's President Zaza Mamilashvili. Overall, our objectives for the remainder of this year are as follows. First, we want to complete our ongoing discussions with strategic industry partner candidates. Our objective is to have this done by the end of the third quarter of this year. Second, our focus in Georgia will be on simultaneously undertaking the two-well drilling program into the Eldari Formation that I've previously described. The significance of this is to implement new well completion designs that allow to stack and frack the success that we've had on individual sections of the Eldari formation historically. Finally, we want to continue to increase our existing oil and gas production and take it to more sustainable levels. So far, our production has been associated with pilot test programs that provide us with variable rates of production from month to month, both in terms of oil and in gas and with the continued increase in drilling operations from our work associated with our two well program or with uh, an industry partner, we want to progress more towards sustainable and reliable month-to-month -month oil and gas production and revenue generation. Thank you for your continued interest in Frontera Resources. Our company has a very exciting future ahead, and I look forward to updating you in the weeks and months ahead. In the meantime, I also look forward to our upcoming annual general meeting here in Houston on June 5th. And if you're not able to make that meeting, 
I look forward to having the opportunity uh, to conduct uh, future updates uh, in various locations around the world, in particular in London during the month of July. Thanks again.